my favorites video, things I've been liking recently, so I decided to do a, a things I've been liking recently video, like hair products, um, makeup, uh, like perfumes, what else? Oh, and clothing companies I've been liking lately, besides Torrid. Torrid is not the only place I shop at, guys, even though I have been shopping there, but not really. I think I, last thing I bought, like, two other dresses, but if I do a spring haul, I'll probably do a spring collective haul and show you guys what I have what I have for spring right now. I don't think I'll be buying anything new, really, right now, like, in clothes-wise. Mostly because like I need to be saving money um, for my pageant and stuff. I have things I have to get for that, so like it'll be like counterproductive. But I do have things that I can show you that I've already bought, and it was like recently still, and sh should still be able to buy it. If anything, I'll probably try to record that video soon for you guys. Either it'd be a haul or a, um, a lookbook. It'd probably be a haul video. If anything, because my cousin recorded my last lookbook for me. Ooh, play. Play. <laughs> my cousin recorded my last lookbook for me, so if anything, um, if she can, then we'll do it again. If she can't, because she's been busy with school and work and stuff, then yeah, I'll just do a look, uh, a haul. And that's cool too. Then you can see how the clothes fit me. You can try it on yourself. It'll be like, um, it also be like the first impression video too because I got some stuff from like GS Loves Me which is actually one of the stores I've been liking recently. Um, I used, I got like a jumpsuit from them. It was like, it's like a black jumpsuit and it has like a cape in the back. Like I love capes. Like my cousin can tell you I love capes. I have another dress from Dora that has a cape on it too. And that's super cute. But that jumpsuit, I actually wore it for my last pageant for like an elegant pant wear. It was super cute. I'm waiting for my pictures and then I'll probably post them on my Instagram so you can see them. Um, the things I've been liking. Oh, makeup. I got um, like this lip, this, um, this matte lipstick. It's the, um, no, it's not highly. It's not Kylie Cosmetics either, if that's what you guys were thinking. It's um, Forever Met by Ruby Kisses. Um, they sell it at, my, uh, at the beauty supply store I work at. And I just tried it today, actually. That's what's on my lip, the um, I'm Chic one. I just used their, um, they make lip liner, so I just used their brown lip liner, like, tip. Like, if you're, like, African American and you want to wear, like, different colors and stuff, you can wear any color you want. Just use a brown lip liner to line your lips, and you're good to go. That's what I did for this one, because it is kind of light on its own. But I just lined my lips, so, I mean, I love it. I don't know if you guys loved it, but this is what it looks. This is it. You should be able to find it at your local beauty supply, because it's mostly um, a brand that's sold at beauty supply stores, to be honest. Not Sally's, like, real beauty supply stores, like, where you get, like, bundles and stuff. That's where you'll find it. I have this color, and then I have the old boy color. I haven't tried this color yet, though, but it's super cute. I, I really like it. Like, it's, it's drying pretty okay. Like, I, I guess I'll see during the day, but I'm, I'm really liking it right now. <laughs> um, I got the, the Nubian palette by Juvia's Place. I'm really liking it. Like it has like the prettiest colors. It's like what I have on my face. On my face. It's what I have on my eyelids right now. I don't know if you can see it, but like I did my makeup. I'm not like, the best makeup artist, guys, but I think I'm okay. Like maybe a little bit. I don't know. You tell me. <laughs> but yeah, the new um I'll tell you a little bit about this palette. The Nubian palette by Juvia's was inspired by an African empire in old Egypt headed by the beauty icon Nefertiti, famously endowed with strength and spirituality. This palette consists of 12 shades beautifully coordinated to be reflected of golds, coppers, browns, and nudes as seen in the Egyptian empire. So yeah, this is how it looks. This is the inside. I know I got dirty already. Look at me. Look 
Can I open? There we go. It's so pretty. Like, so pretty. They came out with another palette. I do not remember the name of it. Is it like in a purple packaging? I don't know. They came out with a new palette recently. Not the Masquerade palette, like another palette. I cannot remember the name for life of me. But I definitely want that palette. It's so pretty. Like, so pretty. Because I think I'm going to be doing my own makeup for my next pageant. And I want like a really nice palette. I might just use this palette if I don't get that one. But if I can get that one. It's lit, guys. It's like really lit. <laughs> but other things I've been liking, I got this um spray and like body cream from Bath and Body Works. Was it their new scent, A Thousand Wishes, the Shimmer Mist? I love Shimmer Mist. That's what I sprayed myself with right now. I don't know if you can see it, but. I love Shimmer Mist. I love them since I was a kid. Um, Bath and Body Works, they used to make, um, they used to make perfumes and stuff just for kids. I don't know why they stopped. Maybe they have it online. I haven't looked. But they used to make a lot of perfumes and Shimmer Mist for kids. And it used to be like their own little section. I missed that section, but whatever. They had like soaps and everything. Um, we used to go to the mall and just, I used to love going to that section. I'll be like, no, you don't need anything. I'm like, but I do. I do need it. I hope they bring that back because that was super cute. Like kids' perfumes. They had all the little shimmer in it. I don't know if you can see the shimmer in this one. But I have that. I've been loving it. It smells super good. Like, like super good. Like, I hope they don't discontinue this one. I hate when they discontinue scents that you actually like. like they make like a thousand and one cents, but it's usually just one that you like, and they always discontinue that one and not the thousands of other cents no one really cares about. Like, super weird. But I also got the um, the body cream in the little travel size because I wanted to take it with me when I w went to um, Miami for my pageant because I had to stay in the hotel. And I want like a nice little body cream. I'm going to bring some on now. It smells so good. Um, moving on to hair stuff, things I've been liking recently to do like a twist out, it's been the, um, the Regia Sweet Natural Shea Coconut Moisture Cream. I've been really liking this, like it gives you really good definition. Um, I was a brand ambassador, my year is up, so sad, but, um, I'll be working with, um, Another brand very soon, like I've been like in the working, I won't announce anything yet. Still trying to see if I can do it, but um, yeah. But I really love working with her. So if you want to try out her products, I'll leave the link down below to um, reducedusenaturals.com. But I really like this, their Shea Coconut Moisture Cream and their Mango Kiwi Curl Cream. Like I think I posted a picture of using that on my Instagram, which is at underscore chocolate dot bunny 16 <laughs> if you want to go like i post like a bunch of pictures of me using her products and stuff if you want to see how it works um but yeah definitely this i use it to twist my hair initially and to do like retwisting i had used it to twist my hair for my um my pageant i don't know if i posted a picture if you followed me on Instagram, you would have saw my snap story when I had like this side do or whatever with the curls or whatever. Um, I had used this to twist it up. It was super nice. It lasted me the whole weekend and didn't like get frizzy or anything like. Yes. <laughs> um, to like refresh my curls during the week and stuff, and as my leave-in, I've been using this, the coconut milk by Cream of Nature, their detangling and conditioning leave-in conditioner like I'm almost done if you can like hear it I'm almost I'm like right here so I've been using this I don't really use heavy leave-ins unless I do twist ups that's when I use heavy leave-in but if I'm doing like a wash and go like this hairstyle I just use this and the gel or whatever that I use and the gel I use for this was the um the curls blueberry bisque control jelly hold on I should have it here it goes. Okay. So this is it. The blueberry bliss control jelly. I'm almost done with it. Like it's like right here. Um you can get this at Target or your local beauty supply store. 
it run you about like 20 bucks like i know it's 17.99 at um my beauty supply store i think it's the same at target as well 17.99 for this but it's definitely worth it i mean if you have a lot of hair like a lot like more than i do then you might use this up more faster than i do so i don't know but I definitely say it's worth a try. I really like it. I mean, it's just an old product by now. Like, I know a bunch of people have been using this for a while. I used this and I've used their, um, their Twist in the Fine Cream. Is it called Twist in the Fine Cream? I don't remember what it's called, but they have a cream that's really good for twisting. I think I'll, if I find it, I'll look it, I'll find it. When I find it, I'll put it down below in the description box so you guys can go and try it out for yourself. And I also have sh the shampoo and conditioner and the edge control in the same blueberry bliss line. But yeah, but the twisting cream is really good. I think I have video I have a picture and like a short video on my Instagram as well. You just have to scroll to the pictures to find it. But it's really good. That's how I used to do my hair. Now, if you guys want a tutorial on how I got my little um bunny ears i'll definitely show it if you want just comment down below even if it's just one person that wants to see it i'll definitely do it it's pretty quick but i know some people still want to know how i do it um that's how i got like my nickname chocolate bunny because i put my hair in pigtails a lot so i do these ones or i put my whole hair in two i don't know if i've done it all in two on here i'm not sure but yeah if you want to know how i do this style and um keep it throughout the week how i refresh it and stuff I'll definitely do that for you guys. Um, like for like edge control and stuff, I don't really use edge control. I mean, I have edge control, but like it doesn't really do anything. And I'm not really one. I'm not really big on like laying my edges to the gods. I mean, you can see now my edges aren't really like. They're not really laid like that. But yeah, but like to push my hair back to put like my puffs and stuff like these puffs and like to put into one. Big Afro, I've been using this instead of um, my Eagle Styling Gel. This has been really better and it doesn't flake on me like my Eagle Styling Gel will. I mean, you can get this at Target or online. I don't know where else sells it because my beauty supply store doesn't sell it. Maybe some beauty supply stores sell it, but mine doesn't. I had to get this from Target, but I do not remember how much it was. I think it was. I don't know. <laughs> But I'll link it down below so you can see it. I think I and I've used this for my braid out. Um, if you want to see how it works for braid outs, I'll link it down below or put it like on the screen or whatever. At the end of the video, you can see how this works. But I've been using it mostly to brush my hair, but I haven't really used it to do a wash and go yet, and I haven't really used it again to do a braid out mostly because I don't really like using gels to do braid outs or twist outs or anything like that. Um, mostly because like my hair got knotted like really like not really bad but I did get like you saw me like un even though it looked really cute and stuff it was really cute or whatever like it gave me good definition but I, I did struggle with knots in my hair with it so I probably won't do it again but if you want to give it a try go for it yeah <laughs> um and things I've been using to wash and, like, and condition my hair I usually used the mixed chick shampoo, either the sulfate free one or the regular one, it really doesn't matter to me because um, the shampoos really aren't that harsh on your hair at all. Um, and I don't really, like, I've, I used to be big on sulfate free stuff and like paraben free stuff, but um, I realized that my hair really doesn't take too well to like all natural, all natural um, ingredients and products. So I've been like using a lot of like big name brands not like big name brands but like lesser than the smaller ones because like my hair doesn't react to it as, as good as like other products um but mixed chicks it works really great with mixed chicks um the conditioner works wonders the dip conditioner is like amazing and they came out with some new products i definitely want to try and if I get them, I'll definitely do videos on them. They can't like a testing cream and gel and all that. And I definitely want to try them out. Um, but what I've been using instead of that, because I haven't gone to the store and actually bought more shampoo and conditioner, I've just been trying to get through everything I have here. Even though that's really not working. I actually, like, instead of using products that I had, 
I've been using my mom's. <laughs> She's been using, um, she uses cat too. Or whatever I have, I leave in the bathroom. Like, she'll just be like, oh, what's this? I'm like, it's not for you. She's like, oh, I love what you had in the bathroom. I'm like, what did I have in the bathroom? I was like, oh my god, did you use my shampoo or whatever? So I just returned the favor. <laughs> but I've been using the, um, the Camp 2 Shea Butter for Natural Hair Sulfate Free Cleansing Cream Shampoo. When it says it's cleansing, it's cleansing. Like, it's a very cleansing shampoo. Even though it's sulfate free, it can leave your hair feeling a little stripped. So, when I use it, which is like when I use it, I only shampoo once. Like, I section my hair in four and I shampoo one section, finish, like one time, shampoo the other section, finish, wash it out. Um, yeah, but um, it gets your hair squeaky clean. And because I do use a lot of products during the week, to um, refresh my curls or whatever or like gel my hair back I definitely use this because it gets all that out and leaves my hair fresh and ready for the next style um, to follow this up I've been using their deep treatment mask sorry that just me come I've been using their deep treatment mask which is like oh my god like I've been sleeping on can too I've been really sleep on them because like this is really good like really good um that I leave it in for like an hour or so and then I wash it out um, when I do I have my hair section for like I've showed you guys before my wash and go video or my my wash and go video or my wash day video I do not remember but yeah, I think it was my wash day video that I showed you how I put deep conditioner in my hair. But I just section my hair in four, and I put it and I comb it through with my shampoo comb, and then I follow it up with my um my diamond brush. I just brush it, um uh, yeah, I just detangle it with my diamond brush and I flip it away, and then I use a um a self heating cap that you can get at your local beauty supply store as well, way cheaper than a hot head, and it still works. It just uses your body heat to um help the product penetrate your strands yeah but this is my diamond brush um i got it from my beauty supply store that i work at and it still smells like it still smells like strawberries because it's a scented brush yep and my mom has the lemon brush she kept using mine and i was like i'm just gonna buy you your own because you can't you can't do this no more so she has one that smells like lemons and that one still smells like lemons i am not even like I'm not even like trying to play with you guys like it literally still smells like strawberries and I've had this for almost a year now and it's been through so many different deep conditioners so many different scents and stuff and it still smells like strawberries which is super cool but I've definitely been liking this um don't sleep on Kent too because I've definitely like I've I'm not saying I hate their product but like they never really did anything for me but this and the shampoo I've been really loving it right now um I'll repurchase it if I don't um, repurchase mixtures any or anything. Um, I'll always still be using this until I can get a big bottle of the mixture shampoo and deep conditioner. That's what I want to do. I'm gonna get like the salon size. Whenever I can order that, that's what I'll be using. And then I want to try their um, their twisting cream and then their gel. I definitely want to try their gel. But yeah, that's pretty much all I've been loving recently. As products goes and other things like I've been liking the um, just to review as to the things that I like <laughs> I've been liking the forever matte by Ruby kisses um, I don't know if you can find them online or not you should be able to there um, Ruby kisses is made by kiss if you know any of kisses um, brands they have Ruby kisses kiss professional um, I don't remember another one they have. they have like they make a bunch of stuff. They make lipsticks, they make powders, foundation. If it's makeup, they make it and they're pretty good for the price. Like this is only a dollar ninety nine compared to um what is it? The Kali Cosmetics lipsticks, which is I don't know, like fifteen bucks each. I do not remember. I don't know how much those are, but I mean I think this is a pretty good dude. I mean it still looks really good on my lips right now, like I'm really liking it. I've been wanting like a grunge color lipstick for a very long time and I have found it and I'm so excited and I'm really loving this. But yeah, I'm liking this, the Nubian palette. Um, 
clothing stores I've been liking. Like I said, it's mostly GS Loves Me. Even though it only has like two outfits from them. Um, I really love how it is. Like, they have clothes that like plus, plus size girls want to wear. But no one's ever made it in their size. And that's them. They do like the risky um, dresses and stuff. And they just have modest dresses. Like they have something for everyone. And I just really like it. I'll definitely leave the link down below to GS Loves Me. You guys want to check that out. But yeah, I've definitely been liking GS Loves Me. Um, Torrid, of course. What else? I haven't been shopping at Boohoo lately. I don't know if I ever showed you guys anything from Boohoo. But I have a lot of stuff. I have, like, winter clothes from Boohoo. I don't have any, like, now clothes. I don't have spring clothes from Boohoo. But I probably will be shopping on Boohoo. Boohoo is cheap. And I don't have to pay taxes. Like, that's amazing. But, yeah. I mean, I have a bunch of stuff from Boohoo. Um, they're just, like, winter clothes. But I don't think I ever did a haul. I always wanted to do a haul. I don't know why I never did it. I mean, it's too late now. Winter's over. And I don't think any of these stuff are still up. But, I mean, yeah. <laughs> but, I do love Boohoo. Like, I love Boohoo. I don't know why I didn't do a fresh, first impression video. I don't know. But, Boohoo, they run pretty true to size. I mean, I'm a 14. 16. Um, 16s tend to be too big. Mostly because I got my, like, on the smaller end of 14 a little bit. Um, I've lost like 10 pounds recently so I've been instead of wearing the size 1 I've been like in like size 0 and, and sometimes size 1 like I definitely gone down a size in Torrid because I used like the Torrid is either be 0 or 1 depending on how the um the clothes are they're like loose fitting or tight fitting but even the tight fitting clothes um I've been wearing a 0 recently but yeah <laughs> I'm not like I'm not like on a goal or anything. It just happened. I just been snacking less. Just like I think that's like the main thing. If you want to lose weight, it's just snack less. I mean, I'm not really on a diet or anything. I just haven't been snacking like that. But yeah, <laughs> but that's all I have for right now. Um, but definitely let me know if you want a tutorial on how I style my hair like this one. I don't really know what to call this. This my bunny, but I have other bunny ears. Um, but yeah, I mean, if you want to know where I got this necklace from, um, from Amazon, I don't know, if I can find a link to it, I'll find it. I'm just like, something choker. I mean, you can, I got the three rows, but they have up to like, like five rows. You can get three rows like this one, or you can get the four rows, or the five rows, and it fits pretty good. It has a, a like a pretty good extender. Um, you can always buy extenders to make it bigger to fit your neck or whatever you want to do. Um, but yeah, I mean, my bunny ears, they're always from Forever 21. These ones are old, though. These are, like, from my last video. I might go back and get some more. I just love them. I love wearing them for my videos for you guys. But, yeah, that's all I've been doing. Um, and this is the dress from, um, ASOS, the one that was, like, too big. But all I did was put it in the, um, I put it in the dryer when it says not to. But it worked. So yeah. <laughs> but yeah, definitely catch you guys in my next video. Stay tuned and yeah, see you guys next time. <laughs> Bye.